So we've been talking a lot about inclusion recently, right? It's coming up in almost every facet of society, within our organizations, on LinkedIn, in our schools, in the Oscar ceremony, in sport, everywhere, right? The conversation around inclusion, need inclusion, 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 inclusion. And I always ask the question, and I'll ask you the question as well, why are we using the term inclusion? Like, why are we talking about inclusion? What is the reason we're talking about inclusion? And it's kind of a metaphysical question. You know, why are we talking about inclusion? What is the why? Just think about it. The reason we are talking about inclusion is because we exist in a society that has exclusion. And this seems so obvious, right? But we forget that the reason we're talking about inclusion is because we have a history and still today at present, people who are excluded. And when we forget the reason that we're not just talking about inclusion because it's nice to have and it's touchy and it's on trend, we're talking about it because exclusion exists. And this is the why of the work that we do. And sometimes we want to turn a blind eye or not look at, even that was an ableist comment, turn away from looking at exclusion, but then we forget why it is we're actually doing this work and we mustn't forget. So in this series that I'm gonna be doing, there'll be five episodes really, this being number one, I'm gonna talk about the pyramid of exclusion, the different aspects or elements of exclusion that exist just for us to deepen our practice and understanding of what inclusion work is and why it's so important. So enjoy.